Hey guys, Ali here from Local Knowledge. A while back, we had more than one person write in about what kind of tools do you keep on the boat? And I thought it was a really good question. Over the years, we've kind of more refined what we have on the boat. And a lot of what I do too is setting up new boats for clients, for friends, myself, whatever. And there's just some basics that you have to have. I feel like this is a really good start. Now, we're obviously sponsored by Bubba. We work with them, they make great stuff. But go with your favorites here, and Bubba does make a great product if you're looking for some new high quality stuff. Let's just kind of start with the lineup. Obviously, if you're an offshore boater and you're gonna be chasing offshore fish, you need to have fillet knives. And you need to have a few different sizes. And that's what I like so much about this kit from Bubba. This allows me to change the blade to the size of the fish that I'm cutting. And it's also gonna give me different blades for different situations. I've got this giant serrated blade if I was hacking up a big shark or maybe a big tuna. I got a stiff nine inch blade here. Again, good for big fish. And then you've got the Ultra Flex eight inch, which is very thin, super bendy, great for smaller, more delicate fish. And then the all around every day is, I think this is the seven inch flex. Got good flex to it. This is your go-to all day long twice on Tuesdays. The cool thing about this kit is the interchangeable blade system. That's why they call it the multiflex. Just slide your blade in here, locks into place, and you can change it that quick. Absolutely make sure at the end of the day, you take this apart and wash all this stuff down. You definitely want to fight the corrosion monster as long as you can. And this great titanium coating keeps these blades from corroding, which I really love. Only thing that's exposed is the edge, makes them easy to keep sharp and resharpen as needed. Also comes in this great little carrying case. I'm gonna put this somewhere dry on the boat, depend on the fish we need. I'm just gonna grab the right tool for the job. The next thing that I thought of when I thought about tools is what I keep in my leaning post on my boat. I've got a center console and that's kind of the center of our universe in ter terms of tools and tackle. So you're gonna to wanna to have your tools close by. These pliers came out from Bubba a few years back. And honestly, I wasn't into them at first. I kind of saw them, I'm like, weird, why would I want you know, that weird angle and all that? These are awesome. And they come in two different sizes. These are the smaller ones. We also have a pair of the bigger ones on the boat. This keeps your hand safe if you've got to go down into a fish's throat, get a hook out of it, or it gives you a little bit of extra leverage to try to turn a big hook out of a big fish. These guys are always in the leaning post. We love fishing with them. The other thing that I learned from my boy Rush back in Florida very early on was scissors. We really didn't use a lot of scissors here on the West Coast, where in Florida, most of the fishing boats are carrying them. And these come in three different sizes from Bubba. I really like the small ones because typically what I'm using these for is just for cutting braid and line, but really with braid, the scissors are so sharp, they give you that clean cut, no weird frizzies hanging off the end of it. These are an absolute go-to, and I've turned so many people onto them on the boat. You've got a knot puller built into it, so you can tie a knot and check it. You've got a bottle opener for cracking a cold, frosty one. And there's even some other tools that I don't even remember what they do. You got your angle pliers, you got your knife or your scissors, and then these are sort of my go-to all day. These are the uh, Bubba pliers, the smaller ones again. I have to have a pair of pliers handy at all times. So these are gonna be in my plier pocket on my shorts, or if I'm wearing a belt, I'll keep this. You always need to have pliers, pulling hooks out, tying stuff, cutting stuff, and I like them right on my hip. But if you don't, you can just remove the lanyard, keep them in the leaning post as well. These have been a go-to for quite a long time. Removable blades like the other pliers, so when they get dull, you can actually swap them out, make them factory fresh again. Now here's another set of pliers that we never let get near fish or hooks or any of that kind of stuff. These are split ring pliers, and we use split rings a lot on our vertical jigs and also on our little metal lures for changing out hooks, etc. I don't use these specifically to take hooks out of fish, to do any hard twisting work or anything like that. They do have cutters, but I generally keep these pretty delicately because I want to keep the hook and the alignment of the tangs in very good shape for prying circle or for prying split rings open. Another tool that we always have that I don't think enough people carry is a simple spring scale. You can use this thing to weigh fish if you want, whatever, that's not what we're using it for. We use these to set our drags. Um, I actually grabbed a small one. This is only a 25 pound scale. We typically use a 50 pound scale on the boat, but 
You hear guys talk all the time, right, about, oh, we're pulling on 40 pounds of drag. No, you're not. You couldn't hold a rod at 40 pounds. It's so much pressure. Like, take the guesswork out of it. This will save you from prolonged fights because your drag was too loose and you didn't realize it. And now you're fighting a 100 pound fish for two hours. You don't want that. And the other thing it'll do is allow you to apply maximum heat within the safe ranges of your line. Another key item on the boat, and we usually have several of these, is a knife sharpener. This is a really, really cool new one from Bubba Blade. The thing I like about this is it gives you options. You get a couple of grits to play with here. So you've got a 400 grit, which is super fine for putting that final edge on your knife. And then you've also got a 180 grit. When you get a little bit of rust on the blade, take a chunk out of it, cutting a bone, whatever, and you kind of need to add some shape to that, you're gonna start with the 180 and then go to the 400. One of the hardest things with sharpening a knife is keeping their knife blade at the right angle. They've taken the guesswork out of this. They've got a 19 degree holder here for your fillet knife and then a 26 degree holder for general utility knives. What that's gonna do is set the angle of these stones so that you are at the right angle for sharpening that knife. This 19 degree position, you're just gonna hold your blade straight up and you're gonna drag it gently across these. Never put pressure on the knife when you're sharpening it. Let it do its own thing. I'm gonna start with usually on the gritty side if needed. I'm gonna go 10, 12 strokes aside till I can kind of feel that burr developing with my thumb. And I'm gonna flip it over and go to the 400 grit. And those that 400 is a good place to leave a fillet knife that you're gonna use on the boat. You don't want it razor sharp because that razor sharp edge will tend to bend over. This will get you a good working edge. And the case, kit, the whole thing's pretty cool. Boom, right under the seat, you're ready to go. We'll also use the pass-through sharpeners. Those work great as well. This gives you a little bit more versatility. And the other tool, which we always have on the leaner and within hand's reach, is a good pair of fishing gloves. Bubba makes a killer pair here. We keep these things with the Velcro wrapped around the handrail or whatever, so they're always handy. You never know when something's gonna go weird. You're gonna get a fish in a tangle and need to wrap your hand or need to protect your hand from some braid or some teeth or holding up a big fish or whatever. Just a good pair of fishing utility gloves. This is what we carry on every trip. This is what's working for us. I'd love to hear from you. What am I missing? What did I forget? There's gotta be some stuff that you're carrying around on your boat that you really love. Please leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Let us know how you run your program. And also, if you like this content, please click the subscribe button down below and give us a like. We're happy to bring this content to you. Just let us know what you guys like to see and we'll try to make more of it. Thanks so much for watching.